I joined the Operation Green Stop as a normal volunteer and then after some weeks I became team leader there for the Team Sendai. On the 30th of August I got a call from my team members which called me at about 5 o'clock in the evening and they said to me that definitely there was a grind going on. So I decided to call everyone of our team um, all over the island to go to this beach and to run there as fast as possible to do something. We, we drove very fast to the beach. As we parked our car, there was no police, no barriers uh, yet, so we ran very fast, as fast as possible to the beach. We had our cameras and our poles and we decided how we should run into the water and from which side. We took them into the water and we created a very big sound because sounds in the water, they create a kind of wall for the whales and we tried to change the directions of the whales. So the whales will not uh, swim through this wall. We didn't stop hoping that um, we can do something. Uh, in the end, the whales changed their directions, uh, I think about twice or three times. So they changed from one side to the other side of the beach and there some boats came, came behind the other boats and they drove them back. Then we, we banged again and louder with those poles and the waves changed the direction again. The boats came closer and closer. The waves had to come closer and closer. They didn't have the possibility to, to swim away. In the end, we couldn't stop it because behind those waves have been about 10 or 12 boats and it was too loud from the other side. And we had a lot of people screaming yelling, uh, helicopters have been there, so it, it was a big sound. Um, as soon as the police arrived, they came closer to us in the water and they wanted to, to drag us out, but we didn't stop. We tried to run to the, to the whales. There were a lot of people on the beach which waited already with ropes and hooks on their ropes and they ran to the, to the whales, pulled them in the blue holes dragged them out of the water. The police arrested us. I had two policemen on both of my arms. I had one which carried me out of the water and when I came out of the water I turned my head to the whales and I saw this picture which I will never forget. It was a very hard moment. I saw the first whale dying and this was the hardest moment in my life. So the man who cut it the first way, he, he had a knife. He didn't take this um, spiny cord. So he took the knife and he cut it the way here in, in this um, place. And so the whole story was completely wrong. And we heard the whale screaming and it was horrible. The water was full of blood in two seconds. I never saw something horrible like that before. I don't even know how to describe it with words. Yeah, the first, I can remember the first three, four days I didn't sleep at all. Always when I closed my eyes I had this picture, this special picture in my head. And I cannot imagine how people can show their kids and do, do that in front of their kids. So the kids were watching, the kids were having fun next to, next to those whales. It was like a party, but next to them some, some of the most beautiful creatures I ever saw in my life have to die. And you hear them screaming, you hear them, you, you saw that they feel, they, they feel and they see and they smell the blood of of their own family. A man on this boat um, pointed a gun on me and on a friend of mine. I mean, in the end, <laughs> I don't understand. The, the people say we are the violent. I, can, I cannot understand that. In the end, I'm sure that we've done our best and we tried everything to save those lives. We stand our ground and 
doesn't matter how much we have to give for. During Sea Shepherd was on the Faroe Islands, 33 pilot whales lost their lives, which is horrible. In the end, um, if we watch the numbers of pilot whales which died the last years, the campaign was a big success. And those 33 pilot whales are the first ones which didn't die in vain, because the whole world knows now the story. The whole world is watching and I think the whole world wakes up now.